So, I finally found the wiring diagram that helps me. And I didn't know that there's three different fuses on the instrument panel. Three fuses that go into the radio are numbers 11, 4, and 8. In the process of me dicking around, I blew 11 and 8. I caught 8, but didn't know 11 was blown. So, on this 1990 Eddie Bauer, with the most annoying wiring ever, on your radio, the... Oh, what, what is it called? One second. Oh, where'd it go? For my Kenwood. Here we go. For this Kenwood, the ignition wire, or the accessory wire, which is red in this case, goes to the orange-black wire. And that one's hot all the time. The yellow wire that goes to the battery hooks into this green and yellow one. Right now, we are grounded using the red wire right here. That red wire coming out of the back of the deck is the ground. This blue and red one, you don't have to worry about. Same with the green and orange, at least for accessory. I haven't tried this in another mode. So let's see. This can be sweet. Okay, this is accessory. We got power there. And we got power when I turn the key the other direction. I think that we got power there too. And we got power with the engine on. So we are golden. You just gotta make sure that these two wires over here, the they're capped off because nobody wants to short out their truck fry things. You probably want to find a better solution than just wire nuts. But, oh man, you don't know how much of a relief that is. So in my other clip, I misspoke. The wires you need to worry about are this yellow and black one, not this orange and black one. The yellow and black one is the accessory. And that goes to the red wire for this Kenwood harness. And this green and yellow one goes to the yellow one on the radio harness. The ground for the Bronco is red. So the ground wire for the radio goes to the red wire. That pink and blue one, you don't have to worry about. Same with the orange and black one. Just figure out a solution to cap them off. Unless your harness is different than mine. Because a lot of these old Fords have similar connections. They may be different colors, they may be in different order, but yeah. I hope this kind of sort of helped. Okay, so thankfully I still have half of the original harness. This is the speaker's half of the plug. There's two plugs. They're identical. One's black and one's gray. This is for the speaker. Going from left to right, the orange and green and the black and white are the driver side speaker here. And you can tell because there's the two wires there. The next
next pair the pink and green and the blue and orange are going to be this guy right here I'm pretty sure you probably want to double check I'll have some links to wiring diagrams the next pair green white and black white or gray what yeah these two are obnoxious you might have trouble getting them sorted out but green white and black white are going to be this guy over here passenger door and then the last pair which is pink blue and orange green are going to be this guy back here wherever he is, there he is so that should be pretty straightforward. Time to get cracking. <laughs>